one is being tempted with something and going away from god and being deceived um, by the enemy and that person never shared to anybody you know how can that person will get help to if we know we can pull that person away from temptations and from the enemy from deception from lies right so that's why fellowship we is very important for all of us to have that kind of fellowship doctrine apostles doctrine and the fellowship and then um in the breaking of bread i i as i said like last sunday i was teaching about breaking of bread and why we do that right why we do why we take that uh, is a is a god made covenant with us and to remember that covenant we take that lord supper we take part in the lord supper and breaking bread and drinking the cup and it means a lot breaking bread is also showing that we are all one in christ his body is broken that's what breaking bread shows his body is broken to restore the body back that is me to because of his body broken today we all became one family and that's one thing another thing they the one bread only they break and they give they eat from that bread everybody the same pieces so it's all taken from one bread so what that shows is we are all many but we all came from one loaf of bread even though we are from different backgrounds different color skins different languages but we all came from one body that brought us together unity amen we became part of one body that is christ amen so that's why to to remember themselves we are one in christ they used to do that regularly so that brings them remembrance oh we are one if they have any differences that's the right time to settle the differences before you take part to the bread make peace with the person and share your love with the person and take it so they were doing this and then in the prayers and prayers means it's not not once in a week prayer they were praying every day every day see how much dedication is needed for people to come to church to come to your place and participate in prayer every day right so um, as often as we can i'm telling if we can increase our prayer life because signs and wonders is a, unless you pay the price we can't see that much power of god manifesting in the city the what kind of a signs and wonders were happen did you see that supernatural things were taking place there if we want to see that kind of power of god working in us we have to pay the price the price you can pay is dedicate yourself to these things teachings fellowship breaking of bread and prayer that's the reason i thought about this that's why god is actually talking to me increase the prayer in the church more prayer is needed when you increase prayers god wants to pour out his glory upon this church and we are going to see that glory in the latter days glory is greater than the former glory amen more power the more miracles more wonders we are going to see prayer should increase more and more in your in your personal life prayer also have to be increased every day your prayer life and also together coming and prayer also should increase that's why 
uh, we we decided to do morning prayers every day like monday to thursday morning prayer um 10 to 12 if anyone can make it they can come and join 10 to 12 morning prayers but somehow get this in your mind we should increase prayers more and more don't get bored of praying don't ever think that how long i should pray um same prayer same prayer no not like that but if you want to see city transform if you want to see people coming into the salvation if you want to see people getting healed that kind of things if you want to see you have to do this prayer more prayer hallelujah okay so let's do that now sharabala baba 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 sharabala